Hey there guys, it's Basing313 here with the continuation of the Danganronpa Let's Play. Last time we left off, we finished off the prologue. And the reason why I'm speaking so goddamn loudly is because the way Vita footage is captured, I have to speak this goddamn loudly so that you guys can fucking hear me. Goddamn, is it a pain in the ass to fucking record Vita footage. No, seriously, it, it really goddamn is. Um, wait, wait, what am I doing? Let's just start the goddamn game already. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, the way I had to process the PlayStation Vita game, or the, yeah, the Vita, um, gameplay. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught on my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. So let's recap what happened. We're in chapter one now. To survive. Daily life. So we're trapped within uh, 14 other students and a crazy goddamn bear. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Is that the goth chick? Hey. Or, yeah, her. Just standing around glaring at each other. Her pointed comments was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. <laughs> right! She's right! I'm trying to remember and process um, all the um, characters and their voices I've given them. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, just you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. Seppuku! You hear me? I, I like to wait. Hold on. If you kill yourself, does that mean you get to go off scot free? But you killed yourself, so really, what's the point? Who's gonna? <laughs> okay, so suicide is not an option, obviously. Well, it is, but uh, what's the point? <laughs> right? Jesus. Uh, fuck. What's his voice again? If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Hmm, perhaps, but oh, what is the mission exactly? Stupid idiot to look for a way out. Duh. I don't remember what the fuck his voice was, but um... And we totally need to find whoever is controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school's regulation Monokuma mentioned before during anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around no no clue, what, how the fuck do you do a German voice exactly? <laughs> mm. Not only that, but how the fuck do you do a female German voice? Da. No, that's that's the heavy. He's Russian. Never mind. Um. <laughs> True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Uh, what the fuck am I- what the fuck's my accent right now? Shit. All right, so then... Fine, then let's hurry and check out that stupid rules already. Hopefully I'm loud enough for that so that you guys could hear me. If not, then I can, oh wait, no, no, I can't- oh shit. I forgot that if I switch, um, TVs then there's gonna be some sort of, like, black, uh... Just literally nothing but black when I uh, switch onto the computer screen just to adjust that thing. So that's a pro that's another problem when I'm trying to record Vita footage is that on top of not recording in 60 frames per second, I'm not allowed to switch to my computer monitor until the end of the goddamn Let's Play where I stop recording. So yeah, recording for Vita footage, I don't know. Can you guys help me out? Any Vita experts out there who has recorded Vita footage before on the PlayStation TV? Is there a way for me to like not... To make my um recording session a lot more better, or is that, or am I kind of have to force it? I'm using an Elgato game capture right now, so yeah. Um, anyways, after turning and also I'm using an HDMI splitter. I think that might deteriorate the graphics a little bit, but it's a PlayStation Vita game, <laughs> so I, I don't think graphics really matter that much. Anyways, anyways, um, after turning on my ebook handout, e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Motokuma said. The owner's name shows up in front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appears on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules are being imposed on us all. 
students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. All right, so 10 p.m. is. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class or punished accordingly. Wait, we have fucking night classes too? What the hell is this shit? Ah, uh, why did I sign up for this high class school? Uh, with minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Peaks Academy at your discretion. Alright, minimal restrictions, so there's still some, but for the most part we have a whole lot of freedom, so that's good. Violence against Handmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of survey, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Destruction. That means we cannot like destroy or like blow that shit up, but we can disable them. That's technically not destruction. That's obviously like uh, what you call it, like hindering to the surveillance cameras. But that's not necessary destruction, now is it? I could try and find maybe some loopholes that I could get away with, but. I'm not sure if this game is that smart yet. Um, anyone who kills a fo fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. So, on top of actually killing someone, you have to not be discovered. That you, you have to not be discovered. You also have to not get caught in order to graduate as well. So, killing someone is not the only way you could get out of here. You have to. Well, then again, once you like leave the area it's kind of obvious you where you're going right so okay additional school regulations may be added necessary fuck me god damn it okay so it's possible that there'll be more s rules added on later on feeling a slight dizziness i raise my face up from the screen as i look around i saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces fucking around this is bullshit what the hell kind of rules are these I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't we wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. God, you are one sadistic fucker, you know that, Clis uh, Celeste? Um, but if he gets punished like that we saw before, I don't think there'll be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. Ugh. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Regulation six. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes blackened will... And... Alright, hold on. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Becomes blackened now. Not We don't know what the hell that means yet, though. But... Graduation, of course, we just get away scot-free, of course, unless we get caught from the crime. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you had to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about that. Just worry about following the rules, and they've been ex as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. You're gonna be a killer. <laughs> you know, you are following the rules straight ahead. You're a very smart kid, and I'm pretty damn sure that you want to graduate this goddamn school. So, you're gonna be a killer. <laughs> that, or maybe you could be collaborative and help us find a killer. 
But I am not trusting you, Byaku Togami. I got my eye on you. Don't jab at me. Give me a break. Uh, more like a f f full on step. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> is he Patrick Star or something? Um, oh shit, where are you? Uh, what is, what's your face again? Um, well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders and whatever. Okay. Now that we have. Now that we know the rules, let's, exploring the, let's start exploring the school. True! We need to find out where exactly we are! Is there a any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, let's... <laughs> okay, now I'm just getting... I'm just giving him the sexy and I know it kind of voice. Damn straight. Okay, let's all start looking around. <laughs> that is not his voice, but I kind of want that to be his voice as well. Uh, he's supposed to be like a metal singer, right? So maybe I could like do a growling like yeah, kind of like how those metal singers like sing their voices in like a growly wrist manner. Ugh, okay, I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? There's a pretty. St that's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already be have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Or, we got a better idea. Each and every one of us stick together so that we got our eyes on each other to see who's murdering the other person. How's that? Uh, hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't be. You can't deny the possibility. But you also can't deny the possibility of you being alone and plotting your murder. Now how's that, Byakuya? That's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... B but Hmm. <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want! What? What? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. K I S S I N G. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it. We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're a fucking dad or s- You're fucking my dad. <laughs> you're my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. Son of a bitch. Fuck you. Wham. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right in my face. One second I was standing there, and the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten. <laughs> the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of what sent that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut off completely. Game over. We're the first murder, murdered victim. <laughs> um, and when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Someone dead? Someone dead? Or, oh, is this our dormitory? Time unknown. Chapter 1. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Where am I? As if I had become part of a daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have access to the handybook menu. You can use this and check the variety of information as you play. Open the handbook by pressing the square button. You can also use this menu to check the school regulations and the character info in the report card section. Oh fuck, we're actually being graded for this shit? Oh goddamn, okay. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. Okay. You can also save and load the game under the system section. Finally, press the select button to review the transcript. This records all per pertinent info, so 
Use this to review comments from everyone involved. Alright, so in case like I need to go back to the Let's Play, I can press the select button. And, <laughs> well, the transcript so far says you press the select button for the transcript. Okay, that I don't think that really helps then. Um, I guess it's investigation time. Let's check it out. Another surveillance camera. Or some kind of metal plate mounted around here. Is this to keep us all trapped in here? Come on, at least keep us with the scenery or something. Alright, what's that handy book thing? It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. So I'm guessing each one of us has like a specific... I say, this is a... Aside from the bolted windows, this is a pretty damn nice looking dorm. I gotta say. Uh, what's this paint roller for? Or some kind of lint roller? I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Okay. Uh, car keys? Or some sort of key. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on for now. Alright, so I could, like, get back into my room or whatever. Um, what's this? There's a piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says... Announcement for Headmaster from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Fuck. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Oh fuck, I can't shower at night? Or brush my teeth? Also, the bathroom in the girls' room includes a lock of their own. Why specifically the girls' room? Why not the guys' room? <laughs> Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. That's fucking sexist, ain't it? The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Wait, what? Huh? A sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Oh boy. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Alright, um... At least I know that the guys get, uh... Some sort of blunt object while the girls get a weapon. That seems really unfair. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. So it's like, what, 10 o'clock right now? Alright. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Nice! I got one coin! Was that for? I don't know. I could look at this. Okay, so truth bouts. Review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of. Review the layout of the Pixel Academy. This will help you guys to specific locations of the school. Presents! Review whatever personal belongings you have on you. Nothing! Oh my god, this is so slow. Okay, I'm not sure. I think those are like collectibles, but I, I have no idea. Review your report card for each student. So, not just me, but I could search up record cards for every single student here, too. Interestingly enough. Alright. Let's see here. <laughs> Shows my height and weight, really. Special ability. Ultimate lucky. Unlucky? Student. <laughs> I could also do that. Alright. Height, chest, weight. Alright. I don't know how to convert those into pounds. Yeah, us Americans are fucking weird like that. Alright. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Wait! <laughs> Wait, hold on. This guy has bigger boobs than her? <laughs> no, I'm, it just says chest. I'm pretty sure not measuring boob size is just the length of the chest or area or whatever. Uh, even in the report card says ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark, so whoever the hell she is, the world may never know. Actually, what's the size of my character? Five, three, pff, you are tiny as fuck. 
And this is coming from an Asian guy who is naturally goddamn tiny as fuck. Who's the tallest guy here? Oh, never mind. She's tiny as fuck. Never mind. Um, 5'7", five, 5'5", five, five, 6'4". So Sakura so far seems to be the biggest. 6. 6'2". I want to see a fight between Sakura and Mondo to see who could kick each other's ass better. Um, is this in some sort of numerical order? It seems to be um, arranged by gender from what I'm seeing. Regulations. I think these are just what the rules stated before. Yeah, okay. Let's save, I guess, and we can take a break from there. So I'll be right back for the next episode of Dan Gan Ron Pa. Be right back, guys. <laughs>